Portland City Council says it still has a number of questions about the search for the next NOPD chief. As Natasha Robin explains, the City Council recently received the scores and resumes of the top three finalists. After council members demanded transparency in the process to select the next NOPD police chief, the city releases the top three candidates. Interim Superintendent Michelle Woodfork along with Thedrick Andres and Ann Kirkpatrick. Honestly, now I, I have more questions than I even did before about how this whole process played out. City Council Vice President Helena Moreno says she's still confused about exactly how the top six candidates were chosen. Where I want clarification, were these the top scoring candidates? I mean, I, I don't know. The city says the mayor decided on the top three candidates after receiving feedback from the group that led the search, along with internal and external panelists. On a handwritten letter from the external panelist to the mayor, it states there is a majority view that Michelle Woodfork has demonstrated great potential, but does not have adequate experience and would benefit from mentoring. I was very surprised that that was the only flag that they saw with any of the candidates. Moreno points out while the panels were interviewing the finalist, media reports showed potential concerns about the other candidates as well. I just thought it was very interesting that the only flag was about Woodfork and nothing on Andres. I don't understand why the IACP waited until the final three to do a deep dive on the uh, backgrounds of the three finalists. Rafael Goneci of the Metropolitan Crime Commission believes the consulting group should have conducted background checks earlier on in the process. You're going to get it down to 17 highly qualified applicants and you didn't even look into their backgrounds? Uh, I, I, I don't fathom how that could be part of this process. Here's how the top three candidates scored in their assessments from the outside group. Andre scored the highest, but he scored below average in the written exercise. Kirkpatrick and Woodfork scored about the same. But no one knows exactly what questions were asked or what the assessments consisted of. And it looks like it's a variety of different skills and different assessments that they did. But I think what is really missing out of all of this is what, what is their plan for New Orleans? You know, what is their plan for the NOPD? And I think that the city council, part of the confirmation process, is going to provide some of the transparency and accountability uh, that has been lacking so far in this process. While the council will continue to ask questions of the IACP, the mayor will decide who the final candidate will be. Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.